गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो वी हैव मिस्टर हरदीप सिंह प्रेसिडेंट एंड ग्लोबल हेड सिल्सन मार्केटिंग ऑफ गोल्डी सोलार गोल्डी इज वेरी नोन नेम इन टू इंडियन मार्केट फॉर द रिन्यूएबल इंडस्ट्री एंड इट इज क्वाइट लॉन्ग एंड नाउ इट इज बींग एंड इन अ पोजिशन दैट इट कैन बी काउंटेड इन अ टॉप फाइव पोजिशन इन टू इंडियन मार्केट सो हरदीप जी आप बताइए इतनी uh, बड़ी मार्केट इंडिया की एंड अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट मैनी चाइनीज प्लेयर इसमें आपने एक लोकेशन या अपना ये जो अचीवमेंट किया है वट आर दी सक्सेस दोरी बिहाइंड दिस देखिए स्टोरी इज वेरी सिंपल कि वी हैव अ जीरो टॉलरेंस पॉलिसी इन एज फार एज क्वालिटी इज कंसर्न सो वी आर वेरी वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट ऑन आर क्वालिटी ऑफ आर प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सो दैट इज समथिंग विच वी जिस पे हमारा पूरा फोकस रहता है तो हम पिछले दस साल से सोलर में हैं और हमारा अभी तक जीरो डिफेक्ट रेशियो रहा है तो जो कि इंडस्ट्री का बेस्ट माना जाता है सो वी आई वी डू नॉट क्लेम टू बी द टॉप सोलर कंपनी इन इंडिया बट वी डेफिनेटली क्लेम टू बी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट क्वालिटी कॉन्शियस सोलर मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ इंडिया so that's fantastic if we consider that the most quality conscious and that is the demand of the zen z if we talk about the everyone is looking for the quality product and hustle free products wherein fit and forget kind of things and i think the you have received a good response from market as well yes so uh, that's fantastic result and it's a longer run the whoever keeps steadies right that wins the race so uh, coming to the product range and manufacturing portfolio if you can brief about your uh, capacity of the market uh, manufacturing and your product range to our so currently in, uh, we are manufacturing uh, poly 335 then dcr 335 watt peak then 400 mono perk full cell then we have 540 half cut uh, mono perk and uh, now just two days back we have launched the 710 watt peak uh, hjt module which is on display over here and uh, then we have also launched the full black module which is for the us market or this is also on display here and then we have also launched the 590 watt peak topcon uh, cell based module so which is also on display over here so these are the three new products which we have launched in rei today Wow. That's fantastic. So three new product launched today into REI, which is seven ten watt, which is I think highest into HGT, India. This is the largest, highest uh, cap capacity module to be manufactured by any Indian manufacturer. That's great. So highest panel manufacturing capacity seven ten. While the every industry, so his ecosystem is talking about five thirty five or five forty. They have launched seven ten watt, and which is approximately. more than 40% of the existing capacity right so that the same size and everything that can yes, be the size is same you can have a look wow. so and then again two new product which is specifically for the us market and uh, another is for the indian yes, market we have a bifacial you can see here so both the bifacials are there with transparent back sheet as well as uh, glass to glass so this is also going to the us market so while uh, talking to the us market you are uh, more focusing into the matlab specific range of products specifically for the us so what are the things uh, we need to consider while considering the same product portfolio while you have zero tolerance policy into indian market as well so what are the technologies you are upgrading for the us market see the uh, as far as technology is concerned so we are we are not distinguishing between the indian market and us market jo product hum यू एस मार्केट में दे रहे हैं वो इंडियन मार्केट में भी हमने अवेलेबल करा दिया है सो so, दोनों में अवेलेबल है द ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट फॉर द यू एस मार्केट देर इज़ अ होल सेट ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशंस विच आर रिक्वायर्ड सो दो सर्टिफिकेशंस वी हैव गॉट डन एक्स्ट्रा टू मीट द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द यू एस गवर्नमेंट सो दैट माइट बी दी नॉट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ऑल दी अदर कंट्रीज एंड दैट वाई यू हैव स्पेसिफिकली सेट दैट इट इज मेन फॉर द यू एस मार्केट That's great. So coming to the BIPV, as you said, that bifacial panels. 
right the uh, us or the europe is predominant to use into this kind of bipv panels while india is quite lagging behind this and we are more into conventional part so what do you see the feasibility of bipv panels for the indian market no in the indian market also now at least the bigger utility scale players so they are now started uh, looking at bifacial modules so we are getting a good demand uh, from for bifacial from indian market also so slowly slowly i am sure it will catch up so you are a part of manufacturing uh, of the panels you are there into apc as well right yes okay so a uh, uh, part of panels what other products are you manufacturing into india no we are not manufacturing any other product as of now but we have plans of uh, manufacturing cell also then we also have plans of uh, which we announced in the press conference two days back so we would be going downstream into the manufacturing of some of the raw materials also like junction box frames the back sheet and all so entire ecosystem to be getting into the pv modules right so that's great so now they are uh, venturing into the many of the new products like junction boxes frames back sheets and other things so that the entire ecosystem has to be made in india and the 100% manufacturing defect can be available by them right so as a epc player or the uh, policy makers what do you see the vision of the government of india by 2050 we would like to be a net zero carbon energy right so uh, what are the chances and what are the prospects for the any indian manufacturer uh, for this see all our uh, efforts that we are doing uh, for the past 7 uh, 8 years it is all in line with the government's uh, uh, policy of atmanirbhar bharat so that's why we are you know investing so heavily and all the government policies which they have been also launched lately whether it is almm or pli or bcd so they are also supporting uh, uh, to make sure that the indian manufacturers come at par with any of the international players so with respect to international players while we see that the china was predominant into this market and now indian player all all the indian players are uh, betting the china in terms of quality in terms of price and everything right what do you see for see as a export market for india you are already doing the export and you are global head right so the other countries like europe where they predominate on the certain brands or the certain um, local manufactured products so is the europeans or the other countries are ready for india market so uh, we have been exporting since 2013 and we have already exported to more than 20 countries and the response is very good and now after the covid because of the supply chain disruptions so the uh, uh, demand for indian manufacturer man modules is actually gone up many fold so people are looking at alternatives now so you know, even if it is at a slightly higher cost they, they don't mind so they are looking at uh, alternatives basically okay. so you mean to say that the india has a more potential uh, for the exports and on the uh, coming to the quality with the higher prices so for the any indian manufacturer there is a huge potential available for the exports uh, for the uh, manufactured the product manufactured in india yes absolutely that's great so uh, as per mr hardeep there is a huge potential and the prospects available with the respect to indian market while we talk about the epc what are the challenges has to be faced by the indian market so there is no challenge as such so epc you see it's a different uh, uh, ball game so there you need to be more efficient in terms of your execution so there execution matters the executing the project in time executing it in a cost effective manner so those are the areas which we are focusing on to ensure that you know we are able to deliver a quality uh, product even in the epc side that's fantastic so typically while well, the focus on the more designing and execution the skill manpower right which is i think there might be the there are certain institute which has been now started training on i think you also have such kind of training modules where you train the people and support to the other ecosystem so that would be fantastic uh, evolution while coming to the uh, part of the credits carbon credit if we see about the carbon credit which is not predominantly uh, easily known to the indian manufacturer or the people mm. so what do you see that carbon credit has to be utilized uh, while we are doing the solar efficiency you see carbon credits it's a very complex thing so uh, 
we are uh, it's going to take time uh, for the indian ecosystem to get used to that so uh, it will happen it's a uh, matter of time <coughs> as people get more and more conscious about the environment so you know carbon credits are going to take play a big role okay. that's fantastic so carbon credit would be and the big initiative or the uh, play a big role into net zero emission by 2050 and definitely uh, as you have uh, done more into our research and they develop the highest uh, watt peak panel 710 watt so what do you see the r and d research and development scenario well uh, the earlier people were trying to collaborate with the foreign companies and bringing the product into india now india is becoming such kind of scenario that they are making the products and exporting to the other markets so do you see the more visibility coming to the down the line there we will see the like 1500 watt panel or 1000 watt panel in the same dimensions that time will tell you don't know how technology is going to evolve if one year back somebody would have asked us ki when will you have a 700 watt peak module so we could not answer so you know that uh, solar technology is such it is evolving very very fast so we, we never know when this is going to happen or how it's going to happen nobody can predict so uh, one uh, last question what has inspired you to manufacture 710 uh, watt peak while everybody is focusing on 660 or 650 watts no it is not about 710 the only thing is that as, as a company policy we always like to bring to our valued customers the best technology available globally at this so when so we like to be ahead of the curve so that's our company policy so in line with that so we have you know uh, launched this product that's great so uh, here uh, we are ending up with the interview with uh, mr hadeep singh the dynamic and uh, talent acquisition uh, they already have done and they have proved themselves as a company policy that uh, the highest watt peak panel they have introduced into indian market exports they are already doing into us market where there is very stringent conditions of the standards and they are now supplying since last 13 years right so thank you very much for your time thank you, thank you.